Ah, how wonderful it is to be back. All fresco dining and oh, the simple peasant folk. So deliciously earthy. Now I don't know about you two, but I'm very much looking forward to the novelty of sleeping lying down. Business can wait for now. We'll talk more over breakfast. Actually make it lunch. Good, you're up. Something's wrong. What is it? Not sure yet, but something's going on. Comrades, comrades, our visitors are about to land. Oh, you're up. How close are they? Close! A fisherman has spotted a ship emerging from the murk. All is as Hera foretold it. It's true then. Alright, what do we do? Any ideas, Morton? Wait for them. Here, if there's trouble, the village walls should be. Mm, yeah, that is true, though. That's true. Agreed. We have no way of knowing what we're up against here. And what of our friends, the villagers? Hmm? Do any of these innocent lambs look as if they know one end of a sword from the other? Should any unpleasantness occur, occur, they will only get in the way. Well, we don't. We don't need civil blood. That's true, but we don't know how many there are, and like. If it's three of us against ten, that's gonna suck, so Ren's right. I'm not entirely sure our clients will thank us for putting civilians' lives at risk, but far be it from the, me to cast doubt on the judgement of our resident strategist. The village it is, then. Uh, I like how you can interact with it, though. A familiar figure approaches. There you are. Make it quick. That ship, I'm guessing it's why you're here. I know what's coming, but I'm the elder now. It's my duty to face it, and besides, are you one? Any idea what we're up against? Sigford gave me a rough idea, yes. So you're coming with us? I'm the elder now, this is as much my business as it is yours. I'm coming with you, let's go and meet our visit. No! No! Oh, there we go. As soon as the figures emerge from the mist, but as they draw near, it becomes apparent that they are at least human. With every step they take, the air grows colder. Then, from nowhere, snow begins to fall. Well, well, that's quite a party trick. Judging by their expressions, however, the strangers seem as surprised by the sudden change of weather as everybody else. One warrior stands at the head of the group, a particularly impressive axe upon his back. This must be their leader. Greetings, stranger. What brings you to these shores? The man cocks his head in puzzlement. He opens his mouth to speak. But no sound emerges. Only an excruciating nothingness that stabs like a thousand tiny needles at the brain. This is only going to end in one way, that's over. Hmm. What the hell? Sigfrid turns to you, his eyes watering, and speaks through gritted teeth. Hmm. This is fascinating. Why have you come here? He doesn't react, he just stands, the expression blank. Doesn't understand. Do you think he can even hear us? Lay down your weapons. It's no good. It's clear from his reaction that he thinks these are fighting words. He reaches for his eye. Ah, oh, shit. Guess we didn't have much of a choice. Okay, let's see what we're up against here. Um, I guess I'll... Keep... Where, where even is the girl? Oh, she's over there. Yeah, I'll hit this one. Ranged attack? No, no, no. Ranged attack sparks. Let's get the leader down first. Yeah! Oh god. Yee! Block. Oh, that's stupid. Flank attack. Oh! Arcane feedback! Okay, he's down. Leader taken care of, that's good. Oof. Oh, evade, nice, nice. Shit, it's me. Oh, evaded, nice. Flank attack, here you go. <laughs> nice one. Alright, let's see, so, this one's almost dead. Uh, let's take on her. Only attack. On this one. Shield bash her, yeah. Ranged attack. Oh, fire blast? Oh shit. Well, I th he seems a little cold. Shaman, yeah, he, he looks a little cold. Oh, nice one there. Opportunity. Boop! Concussed. Sweet. Ah! Oh! Not nice. 
Oh fuck, heals. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Fire blast! Aha! Oh! He just got himself impaled at the palisade there. <laughs> oh shit, no! Oh, Ren is very low on health there. Okay, we have to help her first. Disengage and stand by. No, no, no. But she had like a, a heal or something, alright? Hmm. Fuck it, yeah. Ooh, nice. Flunko. Here we go! <laughs> Victory. Sweet. Fire Blast 1, Concentration 1. No loot. Well, you saved the village. That's nice. Thank the Keeper, that's over. It felt like we were fighting for weeks on that. Well... Oh! And the snow is gone. Did you feel that? When we he when he spoke? Something's wrong. Very wrong. It's already a skeleton! Oh shit! Agreed. And who knows how many more of them are waiting out there. Best not to let a guard down just yet. I rather doubt our friends made the journey alone. He's right. We should shake the shore. Okay. Let's go. Our, they all turned to skeletons already. It's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Oh, it's just a small ship. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well. There must be hundreds of them. Should search the ship before they land. Should warn the villagers. Agreed. They need to get out of here fast. But this is f their home. We can't just ask them to walk away from everything they know. And what do you suggest by way of an alternative? Hmm? Okay, yeah, fuck it. Let's go, boys. Come on. Alarm! Maybe you should gather everybody around, Reginald. Why me? Oh yeah, I'm the Elden. Yeah. Indeed you are. So if you'd care to do to get Eldering. The village is gathered in front of the late Elder's house. Worried murmurs ripple through the crowd. Reginald calls awkwardly, and an uneasy silence descends. Thank you, everyone. I, uh, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that Bodil and the men are gone. The bad news is that something much worse has landed on the doorstep. A large force of invaders is preparing to come ashore. They are not friendly, and they are not to be taken lightly. We can't hope to fight them off, and we can't just hope they'll leave us alone either. What are you saying? We have to leave. All of us. Right now. Easy for you to say. You've only been home five minutes. But... No! Why should we listen to the likes of you? You've had nothing but trouble since you came slinking back. Please, you have to listen. Listen? What good did listening do to your poor father, eh? I'm not going anywhere and you'll say so. And nor is anyone else. The crowd cheers and the villagers turn to take the talk among themselves. But they are soon dry. Oh shit, boy. The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Who is in charge here? I, I, I am. Uh, this matter is now in the hands of the Inquisition. What are you lot doing here? Where's the army? I am asking the questions here, mercenary. Where is Brist? What's he got to do with it? Is your commander officer, is he not? He's not here. He sent us. Did he indeed? And who is the ranking officer among you? I believe that would be... Morton. Morton's our leader. Hey. Very good. Here are your orders. You are to instruct the villagers to return to their homes and lock their doors and windows. You are then to secure yourselves in familiar fashion. Well, you do what exactly? Fight off a whole army of savages? What we do is none of your concern. You have your orders. Or do you mean to defy your the Inquisition? <laughs> the very thought. Come no more. Perhaps I might have a word with these esteemed gentlemen. Fine. Much obliged. <clears throat> Sigfurt, mercenary and mage at your service. We were ordered by Commander Briss to intercept an unknown force here at the Northern Shore. Perhaps we might be of assistance. Perhaps. Tell me, where is Brist? 
Haha! <laughs> Gosh, back at our headquarters, perhaps. Understood. You cannot help us. Comply or suffer the consequences. Suffer the. Are we supposed to be on the same side? Ren, Ren, Ren. Of course we are. We're all friends here. Friends, my ass. What they are asking made no sense. The Inquisition moves in mysterious ways, my dear. For be it from us to question their methods. If they say that it is the correct course of action, then it must be. Whether we understand it or not. Fine. Excellent. Reginald, if you would be so kind as to ask these good people to take shelter in their no doubt charming residences. Did you see what happened the last time I told them to do what to do? Uh, Come now, you have the support of your mighty old Inquisition with friends such as these who could possibly refuse you. When you put it that way, fine. Wait at my father's house, I'll turn you there. Come, comrades, refuge awaits. I hope you know what you're doing, Sigvard. Ah, my dear, I know what I'm not doing, and that's picking a fight with the kingdom's most accomplished torturers. I can't believe we let you talk us into this, Sigfurt. How is holding ourselves up in here going to help anything? The ships were still miles away, we had plenty of time to escape. It is somewhat strange, I concede, but the Inquisition is party to information as mere mortals or not. We must trust what other plan is afoot. The front door opens, Reginald enters, his expression is grim. Are you alright? Not really. I helped the Inquisition lock everyone away in the homes. They said there is a crown army on the way, but I still think we should have run while we had the chance. Well, then it seems like we have little choice but to wait. Perhaps we might kill some time with a pleasant conversation. More than old friend, it was rather a stroke of luck for you to find me in that cave. Might I ask what led you there? It was a coincidence, that's it. My, but what a happy one. I had always pictured a rather more heroic end for myself than rotting in a cage, fighting off marauding invaders, perhaps. Speaking of which, did you notice anything strange when you fought that horn-helmed horde? Snow. Indeed! Snow evaporating corpses, all manner of wonders. What exactly are we dealing with here? Well, as fascinating this is, I'm exhausted. And there's a proper bet here. I think someone's trying to tell me something. Ren lies down to sleep at last, and modern eyelids soon begin to droop. The events of the last few days have clearly taken that toll. I think we might all benefit from a little snooze, don't you? I don't think I'll be sleeping for a while. Hmm. Well, don't mind if I do. Finally, everyone gets gives in to fatigue. Oi! Do you smell that? Ren jumps out of bed and the whole room is suddenly wide awake. Yeah, something's burning. The temperature begins to rise and... Oh shit. Perhaps I should check what's going on. Sigfit walks towards the door with which pro... Whoa! Bursts into flames. Ah! As the room grows hotter and hotter, flames begin to lick at the walls. What the hell? Fire! Quickly, the back door! Ren runs to the back door, but even as she approaches it, it too bursts into flames. This is no ordinary fire. Only a highly skilled mage could... No, that must be some mistake. What is it, Sigfrid? It's a perch! This is the magic of the... <gasps> the Inquisition! You're a mage, aren't you? Can't you get it? use a spell to blast the door open or something? I'm not sure adding explosions to the mix is a good idea. And what the hell do we do? One moment. The flames edge even nearer as Sigford pauses, his expression suddenly blank. Morton, we're in a deep shit here. Is there another way out? No, not that I can think of anyway. Ah, yes, why not? It can't hurt to try. Sigford adopts a look at of uncharacteristic seriousness as he appears to stare beyond the confines of the room. Let's see about getting us out of here, shall we? He closes his eyes and begins muttering under his breath. Hang on, are you praying? Not exactly, merely reminiscing. A brisk wind begins to blow through the room, fanning the flames. That's your plan? Killing us quicker? Snowflakes start falling to the amazement of all present. A circle of eyes emanate from Sigfrid, extinguishing the fire as it spreads. 
Hurry now, my dears. Even one as gifted as I cannot hold back the flames indefinitely. Not needing to be asked twice, the party piled through the door. His energy clearly spent, Sigford only just makes it through it after them. Those bastards. The village is an inferno. Flames leap into the sky from every rooftop. The houses burn, the trees burn, even the crown burns. Some villagers seem to have tried to escape, but to no avail. Oh no, oh no, quickly, we need to get the others out. It's too late. No, they're burning alive in there. No one is alive in there. You can't know that. Reginald makes to run to one of the houses, but Ren grabs him by the arm. Get the hell off me. Sorry but the dead, we have to get out of here. No, I won't leave them, I'm... Ren slaps him hard across the face. If you die, there will be no one left to put this right. You're coming with me. Shit. It's GTFO, boys. Leaving the burning village behind, a party emerges briefly on the shore. Oh. So much for your friend's inquisition, Sigfoot. What the fuck just happened? What just happened, dearest Ren, is that I saved their lives. Twice. Yeah, from the people who were supposed to be on our side. Enough, you two. Fine, but this stinks. We need to find Briss and tell him what happened here. There's no one left to save, we're going south. Alright! Don't get aboard the sh- oh, no, don't get aboard the ship. Where's all the other boats, though? <laughs> Already gone? Well... That sucks, though. Yeah. So, back the way we came, then, is it? We're not going around the mountains, if that's what you mean. That would take weeks. Wait, somebody's coming. The sounds of a group of men can be heard approaching. From the orders being passed down the line, it sounds like some kind of military unit. Ah, the cavalry! Just in the nick of time as ever. We need to hide. You're right. Yep, the Inquisition works for the Crown. Can't be too careful. Quick! Over there! A squad of soldiers led by an Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Hurry, spy. Fortunately, it's are too busy to notice the party. Another Inquisitor? Inquisitor. Another Inquisitor! Lucky we hit. Those soldiers looked pretty fresh, didn't they? What of it? We passed through an abandoned fortress on the way here. Something tells me it might not be abandoned anymore. But how would the crone have known about how to prepare for an invasion like that? You think they were warned? No idea. All I know is that we have to find a way through that fortress. We don't have the supplies for anything else. The fortress it is then. Let's not keep rest waiting. Lead the way, brother. Mm, okay, if you say so. Oh, it's water. Okay. Here we are. Looks livelier than last time. There's someone up ahead. Who are all these people? Oh, damn. Refugees, perhaps? I imagine the army must have warned other villages in the region of the impending threat. Makes a change from burning them alive in their homes, I suppose. Come, Naren, must we? We still can't be sure that the army is part of this. So they are to cut us down where we stand, or usher us through without a second glance. Rather excited, really. Still, if you've had enough excitement for one day, we might hide ourselves among the colorful peasant folk. There is no real need to introduce a as Brist's man, after all. No, we need. We just need to get through. All right, let's do this. I can go ahead and test the water if you like. Even if they are looking for you, they won't be looking for me. What do you think, Ren? Why not? Might as well play it safe. I'm not thinking of walking out on us, are you? What are you talking about? You helped me. Even if things didn't go as planned. And besides, I've got nothing to lose now, have I? Anyway, if I do run off, it's no great loss to you, is it? Okay, go. If I'm not back by sunset, L, it will be because something went wrong. Wish me luck. Right. Suppose we'd better find some shelter while we wait. We might even allow ourselves a little sleep. Although, judging by the events of the last few days, we will only wake up to a crisis.
the hell have we gotten ourselves into, eh? I have a feeling that this is only the beginning. How do you think the Inquisition were doing back at the village? That I have yet to deduce, but for them to appear at all must mean that matters of the greatest import are afoot. All will become clear in time, I am sure. We should get our heads down. It's sunset. Reginald's not back. Something must have happened to him. Maybe. Or maybe it just ran off and left us. Either way, it looks like we'll just have to head on in. There we go, ladies and gents. Shores unknown. Damn. That is very cool. I have to admit, that was a very, very fun game to play. I really like this sort of game, so... I am definitely looking forward to more of this. And I will definitely be following it as well, so... Um, if you too enjoyed it, be sure to check the link in the description box down below, which will lead you to uh, the website where I got the game from. And from there on, you know, you'll just uh, be able to find everything else you need, so... Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see each other in a next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye!